I was like, that can't happen. This is a disaster. I'm not happy. This isn't going well. He doesn't even want to talk about it because it is a complete nightmare. Hey everybody. Okay, so we have had a crazy hectic week and so I thought I would take a moment to sit down and do an update for you guys to let you know where we are, where we're going and what has happened because a ton of things have happened lately. So in the last month, we sold our house, moved out of our house, closed in our house and now we are in an apartment. Now, if you know anything about apartments, when we moved from our big house to an apartment with our family of five, space has been a challenge and it's only been three days. Um, so this apartment living is gonna be a little bit of a challenge for us, but let me back up a little bit and kind of tell you when we moved and what we did. So we sold our house and when we sold our house, we decided we were going to build a new house. Why we did that, that's a whole nother video. We'll talk about that later, but we are in the process of starting to build a house. So what that meant is we had to get an apartment until the end of school, then we're gonna travel, then we're gonna have another rental. So for the next eight to 10 months, it is gonna be completely bananas around here because we're gonna be moving quite a bit, we're gonna be traveling, we're gonna be picking out things for a new house. Um, and if our move is any indication of how things are gonna go, I think it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> Our move was not exactly how we planned it to be. And we have moved tons of times. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know we've moved a bunch of times. And we've done all kinds of moves. We've moved ourselves. We've put our things in pods and moved across the country. We have had movers move us. So we've done everything. So let me tell you how this move went. Because it didn't go, <laughs> it didn't exactly go as planned and it took a few days for me to even be able to talk about it because it was just too soon <laughs> before after everything happened okay so last week we were closing on our house and that means we had to move out so what we decided that because we're building and everything we were going to put all of our, most of our possessions in pods which are those big storage units that they drop off at your house you pack them up and then they take them away for however long you decide you don't need them so we've done this before and it's, you know, pretty easy to a degree. And so, but the thing is, I knew we did not want to pack the pods ourselves. It's a lot of work. So we hired a company and here is who we hired. This is who we chose to pack our pods. It's college hunks moving. So we will see how it all turns out. Okay, so we had big hopes for this moving company. There are, one job was to take everything out of our house. We had packed all the boxes and everything. They had to wrap the furniture and put it into the pods. That's it. And I was assured that they knew how to do that. And they didn't, which made everything so much worse. This isn't going well. I'm not happy. Um, they're not getting packed well. There's too much space. We have had to completely repack this one because there was so much space in the back that we weren't gonna fit all of our stuff because they had less space in the back so we'll see if we can get this done I don't know this is a disaster I didn't think it was gonna go well but it's going worse than expected in there and then all this stuff's just gotta we gotta just start randomly going through this stuff again what i'm not happy so boxes sorry boxes bring them in so we were getting very aggravated at one point we just decided that we had to cut our losses we sent the movers home early they they just couldn't do it they they couldn't do it which put everything on us because this was wednesday we were closing on friday morning which means we had to be out by thursday and now we had to do everything ourselves. Not only pack the pods ourselves, but we had to unpack the pods of what they did because they did it incorrectly and there was space and everything was loose and things were gonna just jam the door and I wasn't gonna fit everything. So we had to unpack, then pack again. Let me just say, this is the absolute worst experience we've ever, ever had with a mover. Like worst ever, we paid $950, they didn't strap one thing down in these pods. They said they were experts at, put, at loading pods 
we had to completely unload this pod because there was so much space for everything to shift around. Nothing was strapped in. You're supposed to, sh to strap things every and thirds in a pod. There was so much space, I wasn't stuff wasn't gonna fit. Things weren't wrapped properly. Um, absolute disaster, and he's not happy. He's not happy at all. He literally had to unpack this whole thing. And I would never use these people ever again. <laughs> How do you feel about it? I don't want to. He doesn't even want to talk about it because it is a complete nightmare. I knew it was going to go bad. I knew it was going to be stressful, but this just was like the icing on the cake because like I said, they didn't strap anything down. Some of the things aren't wrapped properly. So like my couch, which I need is not doing, is not going to make it. And this one over here, I got to show you this. This is crazy. Okay, this one, which is they completely packed themselves. Um, we had to just let them go after a while. We're like, well, you're done. Just go, just go. We're gonna we're gonna call it here and do the rest ourselves. There is not a strap. There is not. There is tons of things that aren't even wrapped. All the playroom furniture not wrapped, not wrapped, not wrapped. Just stuffed in here. But yet there's so, tons of space up there, but nothing was secured in. So if it were to shift, everything's gonna shift against the door, which is gonna jam the door. So. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. This is horrible. This is absolutely horrible. I would never ever use these movers again. I'm contemplating never moving again because of them. Now, as you can see in the video, I was very, very aggravated. I was, um, it was a really, really bad experience with that company. I'm glad we sent them home when we did because it would, we were just wasting time and we would have just had to undo everything they did. Now we did repack everything. We are crossing our fingers that everything you know, gets to us in January <laughs> with minimal damage or scratches because some of the things, you know, they hadn't wrapped and then we had to wrap and I don't know, it just, it, it wasn't what I thought it would be. I hired people so that I didn't have to do the work and instead we spent 36 hours doing all the work ourselves, not only, you know, repacking everything they did, making sure the pads were good, moving everything to our apartment that we needed for the next couple months. Um, so we were exhausted, exhausted. I don't, you know, I just wish our move had gone better. I was absolutely shocked how bad this moving experience was with those movers. But I don't think we ever had a worse movers and we've moved many times. No, we had one, one that was worse. Remember when Willie Nelson showed up and the guy with the bad back? And they couldn't lift anything and they almost broke the railing trying to get the bed downstairs. Oh, that was worse. That was worse. Okay, so one worse. Okay, so this is second on the- but These guys were young guys. These guys could do the work. They just didn't. Yeah, they were very, they were young, healthy. They could have easily done it, but they, they were I don't college. think they had any experience packing a pot. Because they had no idea how to pack it correctly. Well, not only that, but some of the stuff was so over wrapped and then a whole bunch of it was way under wrapped. We have to try to fix the problems. Then we ran into a problem because here's the thing, pods, once you have then filled them up, then they come and pick them up. And so since we had to have them picked up on Thursday for the close on Friday, here is where that problem came in. Okay, after a horrendous day yesterday of having to send the movers home because they were pretty much not doing anything that they were supposed to do and they didn't know how to pack pods, we found out that pods wasn't going to pick up our pods today, which we closed tomorrow, which I was like, wait a minute, we can't have three pods in this driveway and then close in the house. They were saying they were gonna pick them up on Tuesday. I was like, that can't happen. So after a lot of run around um, of getting to the right people, pods fixed it. And as you can see, the pods are gone. That's right, I love when companies take the issue at hand and fix it for the customers. They made it right. It is fantastic. Now, the moving people, that's a whole different story, but we're super excited that at least that part is done, but I'm super tired because we had to pack those pods completely by ourselves. So we're gonna go inside. It is pretty much empty. We have a couple more runs to like the storage unit and stuff, but now that we've got the pods out of here, I can breathe a sigh of relief because they are gone for the next 10 months until our house is done and ready. Um, so everything we own, besides the little bit that's at the apartment is in those pods. So I hope pods keeps it safe. So at the end of the day, I'm so happy that pods stepped up and actually fixed, you know, our issue. They came and picked up the pods. Everything was worked out. So kudos to pods. I've used them before and I will use them again because it just works out for us, especially with these long-term moves. Um, and they're a company that stands behind their brand and that's what makes a difference. Now, the moving company, that's a totally different story. I'm not gonna use them again. Even when we get our pods, we're gonna have somebody unpack them. It's not gonna be them because we know they can't do it. So after a very stressful day, 
I think the house is empty, it is ready, it is clean. It makes me so sad to leave these rooms with the brick wall where the firehouse bed was and also this was Savannah's pink room. And this is one, another one of my favorite rooms. This was the clubhouse room. I love that wallpaper. It looks like you're up in the trees. It's really, really fun. We did some great decorating in this house and I'm gonna miss it, but I think we're gonna do even better decorating and even more decorating. I absolutely love this wall. That's wall candy arts. I absolutely love it and I might do that in my new home because it just, so fun. We put that up. That is the art wall that we put up. That is the chalkboard and we put together these Ikea bookshelves and made it into a built-in. So we have to leave the built-in. So this was the playroom. So many great things that we did with this house. And now one of the other things I absolutely love is the wall we did in our bedroom. Let me swing you around that wall. We did a shiplap wall behind our bed and I don't know, I think it looks fantastic. And I am certainly gonna miss my closet. Now I'm hoping that my next closet's gonna be just as awesome, but when I worked with Easy Closets and did this huge, look at the build-ins. Oh my gosh, I loved my closet. So I'm gonna miss that for sure. I'm gonna have to make it just as awesome in the next house. And Mr. Gizmo's um, closet right there, he had the same built-ins, so fantastic. And then here is the kitchen. It's a little, that's all the stuff we have left in the entire house. And if I swing you around here, that is the dining or, or the family room. That was, <laughs> that was our crazy week, right? And so then we moved the necessities into this apartment. So like right now I'm sitting on a mattress on the floor. There's no bed frame. There's no bed headboard. Like we, like exactly the necessities that we needed. We got some clothes in buckets. Um, I got a table over there with just one clock. That's our alarm clock. The kids have minimal things. Everything else is packed away because we, again, we only have so much space in this apartment. Plus when we're traveling this summer, we can't take it with us. So we're really having to <laughs> live as minimalists, which is good because after I packed those pods, I kind of wanted to drop those pods off a cliff because I was like, listen, I can't do this again. We have too much stuff. We have too much stuff. Um, and then I look around this apartment. I'm like, we still have too much stuff. What is going on? Um, but I think it'll get better. Like I said, we've only been in this apartment for three days and we're starting to get into a routine. I mean, it's different because, you know, we're farther away from school, which means we have to drive farther to school, but you know, it's fine. Um, we're gonna make the best of it. We're just gonna call this our baby gizmo adventure, right? We've done these adventures before and this summer is gonna be even bigger adventure. So you gotta stay with us and you gotta follow along with us on YouTube because we are gonna take some pretty cool adventures in which we put whatever we need with us for probably about six to eight weeks. Um, we're gonna hit the road. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. Then we'll come back, we'll rent another place, we'll be cramped, it'll be awesome. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot of things coming up, but that was our move. It wasn't exactly how we expected it to be or wanted it to be, but we rolled with it. We were exhausted. Like I said, it took me at least a few days to even be able to talk about it with you guys because I was, tired and exhausted and angry and <laughs> you didn't want to hear from me i promise you didn't um until i could let it settle a little bit so i can laugh about it now but it was no laughing matter last week because it was so stressful trying and the kids were such a great help because they helped us move everything it was their spring break and they spent half their spring break helping us move which is it's for them too but so that's it guys <laughs> That is my update for today. Um, I will keep you updated, of course, because like I said, we're building a house, so we are making all kinds of fun decisions of what is gonna be in the house and kind of how the house is gonna be laid out. And we will obviously give you a whole house tour when that happens, um, when we actually finally move in. But we'll do an apartment tour um, soon. I'll probably have Savannah do that. And then you can kind of see how we went from our big house to this small apartment. Um, and you can just kind of see how we're living right now, right? It's kind of fun. That is it, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Have you guys moved? And was it smooth or it went easy? Or was it really difficult and challenging like this move was for us? This was our most challenging move. And it shouldn't have been, but it was. Um, so leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you want to see 
more moving videos, house tours, apartment tours, just thumbs it up. And that's it, guys. I will talk to you later. I'm Holly from Baby Gizmo, and Savannah will be back in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.